welcome back guys today i'll be showing you how to do this structural detail so the two things i'm using to give it structure is this crinoline and boning now this boning is the one that you can sew on and as i'm measuring it here the boning is half inch that's 0 0.5 inch and the crinoline is soft guys this crinoline i measured it is three inches and that is what i'm what i'm going to be using for this folding for the material so yeah i'll go ahead and mark out three inches and then i'll cut everything out so this particular um fabric i cut out now is 52 inches i'll go ahead and replicate it two more times so all together i'm going to have three different bands after which i will slash two of them into two equal halves so I'll, at the end of the day i'm going to have like five pieces four short ones and one long one so i'll now get my crinoline and i'll place it on top of the material and sew everything all of them now concerning this this crinoline i am using the soft one the reason why i'm using the soft crinoline and not the hard one they have different types is because this material i'm going to turn it you get with hard crinoline it is harder for you to turn it so i'm going to be using this safety pin and turn everything so you should use the softer crinoline so it will enable you turn it quite easily at some point i had to remove the safety pin and just use my hand and turn it inwards after you are done turning all of them please make sure you trim out all the edges after that you go ahead and iron everything flat so that is very neat we are going to be inserting our boning remember i showed that this is half an inch so i'm going to uh, run two stitches here one and two so i'm going to have like three cases i'm going to have one to slot in here here and here so i'll go ahead and run the two stitches on all of them and i'll be back for there are different types of boning this is the boning that you can sew on i like this because it will be easier for me to like um pin when i'm putting it on the on the clothes do you get then i'll cut it so you can see the way it's looking because now we have put the crinoline and the and the boning on it i've even put only just one it's already forming in this one i've put the three of them you can already see how it has already formed so you now take it and go and design but sorry let me go ahead and put the other ones So I'll go ahead and do the same for the five of them. Then we'll head over to the mannequin. With the normal needle and thread, I want to tack this together before I go ahead and fix it on the clothes. Please, I did this tacking on just two and I proceeded to like start attaching it to the outfit. Okay, sorry. At this point in time, the weather was so hot. So I was feel I was already sweating. This was what I, this is the part I am telling you that you should use soft crinoline, not the hard one. Because at this point in time, tacking this with your hand, first of all, even arranging the thing on the clothes is already a hard situation for you to maneuver secondly tacking it so using softer clip sorry softer crinoline and then the boning that you can sew on makes this journey a whole lot better so guys i proceeded to add two more of the short ones to the side you know this thing is something that it's versatile it's flexible you can do it however you want please if this video has been helpful towards you please subscribe to my channel they just took the light <laughs> at this point i'm not attaching the longest of this um structural detailing to be very honest guys this thing you have to manipulate it however you want it's your style that is why there is creativity you have the freedom to do it anyhow you want i'll show you guys a couple of ways i did it there are different couple of like different ways you can do yours okay please if you are still here don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video it really helps me a lot and then leave a comment tell me any other tutorial that you would love for me to do for you and if you want to order an outfit i'm also available my details will be in the description box okay so i'm basically maneuvering this till i get what i want okay, so this is the final look of this outfit i didn't wear this outfit here because i have another video coming up showing you how i made this dress 
So be on the lookout for it, okay? And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.